So I had a, I had a, a message today uh, from, from a family member, and I thought it was a very good question, right? So it basically went into, hey, you have lots of passion for precious metals. Why don't you open up your own pawn shop? Um, you know, start uh, you know, getting involved uh, that way. You know a lot about it, uh, et cetera, right? So my immediate response was, and still is, I am not interested at all. Never say never, of course, but I am not interested at all. And the reason is, uh, the reasons are actually very clear to me and it makes, uh, like I said, so much sense. Number one, too much uncertainty with lockdowns. Small businesses have been decimated. Uh, and number two, which is a huge one, too much time invested. Once you open up your own business, you are married to that business. And I can also prove that just uh, based on what I had a conversation again at one of the local hangouts, Italian restaurant here, a young couple own it and they both work every single day. They are looking forward to Sundays is what they tell me all the time because they're not even closed on Sundays. They're just closed at one instead of like nine or, or 10 o'clock at night. So they are working nonstop. They're very successful by, by the way. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a small Italian restaurant and there is not much competition out here. They have uh, pretty good Italian food. Uh, they got a good selection of uh, red wine, uh, you know, stuff like that. They're, they're doing pretty good is all I can tell. But nonetheless, they are not married to each other in a way. They are really married to this job because uh, the, the guy was telling me, listen, I don't even, uh, I don't even uh, know what my wife is doing for the most part. I see her up front doing her stuff. He's in the back, you know, uh, making sure the kitchen is run properly. And then they get home and they basically go straight to bed because uh, once, you know, the, the, you know, the next day hits in a few hours, they're right back into, you know, into the rat race. So this is just why I am not interested. But what I am interested in, what I think you can take out of this video, and a lot of you, I believe, can relate to this and believe this is, uh, this is true. You do not need to open up your own business. You can invest some of your money into businesses that are already developed or someone is opening them up. If you had some uh, good information on, you know somebody, uh, you're willing to take, take on that risk. But they did all the work. They're going to be the ones that are married to this business. And you own part of that company, meaning shares. I like that idea a lot better, but obviously the goal here is to have really solid entry in the stock when it's really low and you have to know when it's low. Quick hint, it's not when the mainstream media talks about it, it's when it's hated and not popular slash boring. That's when you want to get into it. I, I don't know if I already mentioned the um, dividend yield, that's huge because if the stock goes down, this yield might go up. So that way you can recover some of the losses and it's just fun to get that extra cash flow from share of the company that you own as someone else is doing all the work. Now, you do have to do your own work. You have to put at least a few hours a month, if not a week, of looking at their balance sheets, going over all the details, making sure there is no um, major changes in management because because people are basically the most important part of the company as you can have a really good company with some really really uh, not competent people running it and it can turn to shit or you can have a really bad company and have very competent people running it and it can turn to gold so with that being said i am not interested in owning any small businesses i got a lot going on with the farm as is anyways and I'm, and I'm loving it, and uh, that's, that's for me. And I also want to have my own food. Uh, well, I'm, we are far from self-sufficient, but I think we're doing uh, pretty good. We're doing a lot better than most people that live in the cities because we at least have you know, our eggs. Uh, we can just go into, into the shed and pick, pick it up and have food. You know, I mean, to, to me, that's already a huge plus. And we are working on the garden, as I talked about the previous video and all that. I believe more lockdowns are coming in so many different states. Uh, this is just craziness, uh, what's been going on. If by any chance any of you do get stuck with food shortages, anything like that, if you wanted to support this channel, check out our website at Independence Arc. Dot com. I will write, uh, I will post the link down below. 
I promised you on the last video another stock pick that I believe for long-term hold, meaning two to five years, you will do really well. This is what I'm doing. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not licensed financial advisor. I just love to do research on companies. I just love to invest in companies and let other people do the work. It took me a while to understand this concept, but now it's making more and more sense, hopefully for you as well. So the company's stock ticker is OR, Osisco Gold Royalty. I will write the stock ticker down below so you don't have to go back in the video if you forgot it. Uh, this is the one that has very, very good management, basically top-notch management. People like Sprott, like Eric Sprott, Rick Rule, they are connected with, with this crew. And um, there is a lot of upside, I believe, in this company. Now, it is not for trading weekly, uh, you know, daily trades, because the volume is not that high. This is for a long term hold and these royalty streaming companies they're popping up everywhere this one is the one that you want to keep your radar on and do your own due diligence so again if you find these videos informative if you find them if you find them um, interesting share them with your family and friends like them and make some com comments uh, let me know what you think let me know if I'm boring you let me know if this is uh, good info or ask any questions when it comes to uh, mining shares, uh, I will uh, tell you. Also on Twitter at the New America 77, I post a lot of my entrances, exits, and all kinds of crazy stuff. So um, if you are on Twitter, I am at the New America 77. Take care, and we will talk soon.